Hi, it's Pacey and Cannon with your February 26th edition of DSMS TV News. Our school is having a dine around fundraiser tomorrow at My Pie. This is a great and delicious way to raise money for our school. Our school will get 20% of all proceeds from the entire day sales. Don't forget to mention that you are f that you are here from DSMS so we can get funds from the purchase. Good morning, Desert Shadows. Last week I was here to share a message about school safety in light of the school shootings in Florida. Since then, I've collected feedback from our community, I've heard questions from some of you, and I've seen the national debate grow into something very interesting with America's young people. Ms. O'Boyle and I are back today to discuss each of these. First, a few of your questions, and Ms. O'Boyle, I'll pose them to you. What do we do if there's a gun or an active shooter on campus? It's a good question. First, if you learn that there is a gun on campus, or people are talking about there may be a weapon on campus. This should be reported to a teacher, staff person, or administrator as soon as possible. If a teacher learns that there is a weapon on campus, most likely a lockdown will be called and we'll call for police support right away. We've practiced these in our drills. We also want students to feel empowered to come to an adult if they read something troubling on social media or if they hear people talking about someone who is posing a threat to our community. Thank you, Ms. O'Boyle. The next question, uh, how should I feel when I hear a lockdown or fire evacuation announcement? Well, we need our students to be at attention and following the directions of an adult if they hear an announcement like a lockdown. Our teachers have the best training to keep students safe. We should treat this as though there is a, an emergency so that we're ready and practiced in the event that there is a crisis. While we need you to be alert when you hear about a lockdown or fire evacuation, these are drills that we practice regularly. In fact, I can tell you that we have a fire evacuation drill later today. When you hear this alarm, follow your teachers out as you've done in the past. Be aware of your surroundings and always stay in sight of your teacher. That's very important because it's our job to make sure that all students are always accounted for. So please always do stay with your teacher and make sure they know your whereabouts. The last thing we want to talk about today is your feelings and your voice. We know nationally a lot of students have come out with statements and feelings about being a student at a public school. And our school is full of future leaders and we realize you may have a desire to speak out and do something or take action. In fact, very soon on these announcements or others, you will hear about an opportunity to meet as a group to talk about your feelings and maybe put together a response in some way uh, from Desert Shadows Middle School about feelings about gun violence, school safety, and the like. Uh, I'm grateful to Ms. Stenchever, who's offered to be a leader in this area, and we may have a couple other teachers who are following her as well. This is an important issue that we want you to think about and feel free to talk with Ms. O'Boyle or myself uh, if you have other thoughts, concerns, or feelings about safety at school. Thank you for listening to this message. And now, now to, to the, the birthdays. birthdays. Hey, it's Natasha with the birthdays. This weekend's birthdays were Ginger A, Leo B, Peter B, Caden B, Riley F, Avery H. Today's birthdays are Carson D and Michaela S. Now to the sports. Hey, DSM and Scott with the sports. Girls basketball is today after school. That's all for today. Now back to the anchors. We're back! There's Ceramics Club today. There's also yearbook. That's all for today, DSMS.